I've come across another unethical journalist. They seem to be everywhere. This is an article written by a Yasmin Aliha Brown on the 26th of March, 2019. Yasmin's article starts off with the headline, Layla Moran was wrong to attack her partner. But domestic violence by women is not the same as domestic violence by men. This is where I first disagree with this article because domestic violence should not matter whether it's perpetrated by a man against a woman, a woman against a man, a woman against a woman, a man against a man, or whatever other genders there are out there at the moment. This is just pushing her own agenda to try and make out that women are not as violent as men. And as I can attest to my humans suffering in his last relationship, his ex was vindictive, malicious, and could be extremely violent. My human has scars from where he's been stabbed with a paring knife. Another scar from where he was hit by a cleaver that was thrown across the room. He's also had numerous concussions from frying pans, toasters, and even an electric wok being thrown at him by his former partner. Yasmin says a good number of people, mostly men, are infuriated by Moran's hypocrisy. One senior Liberal Democrat said, violent behaviour which warrants police presence is unacceptable, whether it is by a man or a woman. We have to be consistent. How can anyone disagree with that? Well, that is actually one of the points that I do not disagree with in your article. Maybe the only one. Violence should be unacceptable in a domestic partnership, on the street, anywhere, outside of the theatre of war, or recreational boxing and so forth. Yasmin continues on. We know women in heterosexual relationships can be sadistic, controlling, and even homicidal. Wives, girlfriends, casual partners do bad stuff, but they cannot match the numbers or brutality of men. Yasmin, I would like to point out that majority of men that have suffered domestic violence because of their partners do not report that due to numerous factors. One of the most common one being that they are not believed when it actually happens. Unless a serious injury has taken place, such as being stabbed, I would like to point out that when a woman reports domestic abuse to the police or any authority, it is often taken more seriously than what it would be if a man had reported the same offence. Now, my human's experience comes to mind. When he reported his ex to the police for harassment and unsolicited phone calls and text messages, he was basically shown out the door. But when his ex made the similar complaint, he was taken into police custody and questioned over the matter until he actually proved that he was not doing what he was accused of doing. There's a big double standard these days. Equality is not here. And it's sad, but it's true. When it comes to domestic violence and making reports, women have so much more power and so much more weight behind them when it actually comes to things getting prosecuted, it's not funny. Yasmin mentions a case where a woman killed her husband. Doesn't mention how violent and brutal that attack was. It just says, police found bloodstains around the house and 78 injuries on the old dead man. I actually looked into the case. It was a bloodbath. This woman had viciously attacked her husband. And it's only a footnote in your article. It goes on again about false rape accusations. Yeah, that is happening more and more. She then goes on to say, However, I deplore the way such cases are used to discredit feminism or to stir national laments about the ignored, forgotten, hidden pain of male victims of female violence or extreme vindictiveness. Like much else in modern Britain, emotions sweep away troublesome evidence and masculinity pushes selective narratives. I think you're confused with feminism. Yasmin, I honestly do. Yasmin finishes out her article with these two paragraphs. None of this is true for females who have been violent towards males. Wives, girlfriends, and casual partners do bad stuff, sometimes very bad stuff, but they cannot match the numbers or brutality of men who victimise females. Furthermore, female perpetrators of domestic violence do not go on to mass murders and terrorist binge kills. So yes, Moran was wrong to attack her partner, and her tweet did not communicate real regret. 
And yes, both genders can brutalise and dehumanise the other, but males commit far more crimes against female than vice versa. Instead of accepting the truth, too many re men resort to water battery or intense self-pity. Shame on them. Yasmin, I feel sorry for your husband. Because you lack empathy, compassion, anything. Any victim of domestic violence has the right to complain. Any. When journalists such as yourself focus on the female side of domestic violence, you do an injustice to all domestic violence victims. You're a journalist. And while you've thrown some th facts in this article, it is quite clearly your own biased opinion. You go through and you say that domestic violence turns men into terrorists. Paranoid men who have become to believe that feminists has gone too far. Feminists have gone too far. Back in the 60s, it was about equal rights. The women today are complaining about a non-existent pay gap. But a man working as a nurse gets paid the same as a female working as a nurse, with the same experience and qualifications. There's been a whole big issue with feminism in regards to high-paying, high-power positions not being filled by women. And that's what's happening. Instead of people getting a job based on their qualifications or being the best person for that job, feminists are demanding that women get those jobs based on a quota. So it's no longer the best person for the job. These quota jobs are always the high-paying, high-power jobs where women feel they are not represented or underrepresented. Feminists don't talk about equalising the ratio between men and women in garbage collection. They don't. To most people, it seems like feminists are just cherry-picking the jobs they want and then leaving the scraps for everybody else to take. This is why a lot of people have issues with feminism. And then add into the mix... Feminist journalists such as yourself, Yasmin, pushing their biased opinion on the general public. Can you see why feminism is getting a bad name? Your report into this matter is biased and hypocritical in the very least.